Welcome back, folks. With Phil Too Real here. So, didn't think you'd see me play another Mega Man game so soon, right? Well, I decided to play Mega Man 2 a little bit after Mega Man 1 because Mega Man 1 was only two parts, um, and so Mega Man 2 is a little bit longer. So, I decided to go ahead and play it. But in the year 200X, a super fighting robot named Mega Man was created. Doctor Light created Mega Man. Come on, come on, Tex. Thank you. Who stopped the evil desires and machinations of Doctor Wily? And this Dr. Wily just so happened to, after his defeat, create eight new shiny robots to counter Mega Man. And these new shiny robots we're going to send to the junk heap, right? So, uh, Mega Man 2, this uh, open and crawl, I love it. Um, Mega Man 2 may not be my favorite Mega Man game, but I have to give props for props for due. It is one of the greatest, if not the greatest Mega Man game, classic Mega Man game ever. Um, according to the fan base, but you get two different modes of uh, difficulty normal and difficult. And I'm going to be playing on difficult because that was the original difficulty for Mega Man 2 when it was released in Japan, and so that's what we're going to do. So we get eight robot masters. I'm going to go after Airman, and Airman's data CD for Mega Man bases with a huge repeller installed in his body, it can create powerful gusts of wind. What wind blows you here? Is a good point. Uh, he puts on airs. Bad point. He's a windy talker. Like he likes surfing. Dislike fall of the leaf. Um, that um, is a pretty interesting data card. But uh, Airman stage, it's not uh, first time player friendly. I guess that's what I want to say because it's a giant bottomless pit, and um, that's what makes it so difficult. Because you have to be careful how you platform. You don't want to jump haphazardly. You want to make sure your platform skills are on point. Um, otherwise, you're going to be falling to your doom, and you're going to get a lot of um, extra lives lost, and then a game over. Um, so you want to make sure that you platform very, very uh, carefully, like I did right there. Almost didn't make that jump, um, but yeah. So Mega Man 2. Um, there's a lot of things I could say about it, but the big thing I do want to say about it is the music is phenomenal. A lot of the tracks in here are very good. Uh, a lot better than a lot of Mega Man 1 tracks. Um, I liked a few Mega Man 1, but Mega Man 2, I can't think of... I think Bubble Man is the only level I don't really... The track I don't really like. Um, but when, I think almost all the tracks I do like. But, uh... Yeah, so... Th this level's not very first player, first player, uh, you are the first player. It's not a first attempt friendly level if you don't know what you're getting yourself into, but Airman himself is pretty easy in my opinion, um, provided you go in with a pretty, uh, pretty beefy health bar. But, um, but yeah, Mega Man 2 levels are pretty short as well, like Mega Man 1 levels. Um, we're almost done and with this level, we're not done with the game, um, we're done with the level. Um, and then those birds that drop eggs, you can farm them for energy, um, specifically once the eggs hatch, especially if you have metal blades. We'll talk about metal blades when we get but we're already at Airman. And Airman's not a very difficult robot master, in my opinion. Normal or difficult, especially on normal. Um, robot masters take more damage on normal. But Airman's strategy is he's going to use his weapon air shooter, put a lot of uh, tornadoes in the way, and sometimes you can avoid them, other times you can't. But you can use the invincibility frames to your advantage and just shoot him. Um, and he'll hop once in the middle and then hop again and then get himself in place. And he'll repeat the pattern over and over again. His weakness is actually the leaf shield. So that's it. And then we're going to get the new ability from Airman, the air shooter. And the air shooters, it's a very nice weapon to take out some enemies that are above you. And also it's very, very useful for our next boss, which I believe is Crash Man. I believe that's who I go after next. And then between some robot masters, you'll get a message from Dr. Lion. He'll prepare another item for you. And in this case, we get item two. And item two is a um, jet board. If you played any of the later Mega Man games, this is basically what Rush is in Mega Man 2, but we don't have Rush yet. That comes in Mega Man 3. But you get item 1, which is a levitating platform. You get item 2, which is a, um, a jet board. It, it'll fly across the sky for as long as you have energy. Um, and right here, you can see me saving, and I'm going to do this in between levels. Um, that time I just wanted to show you, but every other time I'm going to edit it out. But Crash Man's our next boss, and Crash Man, Crash Man's data C. Where are you? He, 
His data C says that a drill, and his music's amazing too, by the way. A drill type bomb called the Crash Bomber is his weapon. His body is protected with a thick armor. Oh yeah, I'm the destroyer. Okay. Um, a good point, he's very forthright. A bad point, he's very awkwardness. I mean, I guess I would be if I kept telling everybody, I was the destroyer. Um, he likes crashing buildings, as his name implies. He dislikes recycling because he just likes to destroy stuff. But, um, Crash Man's theme is, is one of my favorite things. Um, okay, Phil, get back on top. But, uh, yeah, so if you have the second item, which I'm trying to show off here, you can jump on that and it'll fly and then you'll use up energy as it moves. But, um, Crash Man's level is very much like a Lech Man's level. It's not nearly as hard. It's actually a lot easier. A lot of the levels here in Mega Man 2 are a lot easier compared to Mega Man 1 levels. Uh, so the whole gimmick is you need to keep climbing up and some sections like that right there, which I'm going back in the room to reset, is you're going to get these platforms and you're going to let them work their way to the uh, ladder or the opening like in one of Dr. Wily's levels later on in the game. And then you just want to make sure you don't get hit by enemies, spikes, or any kind of death trap along the way. And then if you have some of the platforms and some of the energy to spare, you can use it to kind of like speed through it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it run the course. Because the music's amazing, what can I say? I mean, it is so catchy. Um, and that's... I, Mega Man 2's music is phenomenal. I know I said that once in Air Man's level, but almost every single track in this game is very, very amazing. Um, and if you had the, if you wanted to use your item 2 right there, you could have just surfed from the right side of the screen to the ladder and got through it very quickly. And then these um, robots right here that you take, that you shoot them in the face and they shoot out all their parts at you. It's kind of like a uh, I forgot what the cactus is in Mario Kart called that Yoshi eats, but when you shoot them in the face, they launch all their parts, but on normal difficulty, you shoot them once and then they just blow up, so they won't do that, but on difficult, they will do that, so just be very careful, get some spacing, and then you should be okay, and that mental, that was a very risky thing I did there, um, I could have gotten knocked down and fallen all the way down, if it's not a bombless pit, you would fall down all the way. And then, the rewind thing you saw there, that's one of the features down the Legacy Collection. I try not to use, so, um, my finger just tapped on the, on the Xbox controller. I believe it's the left bumper. But, right here, um, you just want to keep climbing up. I like to go on the left side, because this side actually leads to a energy, um, ah, uh, energy tank. That's what I'm thinking about, sorry. Um, and the energy tanks are very, very useful in Mega Man 2, starting onward, because... Unlike Mega Man 1, you didn't have a way of refilling your energy midway through a level unless you just found it. But in Mega Man 2 onward, you get things called energy tanks that will refill Mega Man's health all the way up. Now, um, one thing I will say about Mega Man 2's energy tanks is that if you get a game over, you lose all your energy tanks. So if you're about to die and you're on your last life, you might as well just use them. Otherwise, you're going to lose your energy tanks for no reason. And you might just end up beating the boss. And I don't know what I was doing here. I ended up just deciding, hey, you know what? I'm going to shoot all these things and have them, like, Goomba stomp my head like Mario. But, uh, yeah. And then I saw what I was doing. I'm like, no, nah, I just need to get to Crash Man and get, the, get to the checkpoint. So, we're going to equip our air shooter here. And the thing about the air shooter and Crash Man is, if you jump and shoot and you end up hitting him with all three of the air, sh uh, air shooters... He'll take a lot more damage than we normally would. So right there, I did shoot it, and he took about a third, but I don't know if you saw it because of the the way this game is, uh, with flickering and everything. But we'll try it one more time. This time I do win. He did kill me there. So shoot, jump, or jump and then shoot, and then you'll hit him. And as you see there, I got him twice with my air shooter right there. And I didn't get hit at all that time. So Airman's really, Crash Man's really easy. Because he'll jump, shoot a Crash Bomb down, and if you can avoid him and the Crash Bomb... You'll you'll finish him really quickly with the air shooter, especially if you get him with two air shooters at one shot. But we'll get the crash bomber, which is his weapon, and crash bomber. Uh, I don't really like it. Uh, it's a weapon that isn't very useful against enemies, but it's very useful for clearing walls. And there's always that boss in Wily's Fortress that we'll talk about. But that's the end of part one, folks. Really short part, um, but we'll catch you on the next part. See you guys.